just over clears the point feeling Adil Rashid and for first boundary to Brandon King. Clears mid off as well. A very, very positive start for Brandon King, picking up where he left off two days ago. He has his revenge, Moen Ali. Adjusted his length magnificently, and Moen strikes. Yeah, just see how this turns. Not huge, but just enough. Oh, that's good. That's seriously good. That is exactly the sort of delivery that uh, any opening bowler would want to try and deliver. That is a seriously good delivery. He's terrific against left-handers in my view, certainly from the point of economy, but use your height, go into the pitch and use the wind that's coming across. It's brave, it's aggressive, and it's very early in Shea Hope's innings. And that won't help. You would have expected better. Will Jax to stop that. And Shea Hope says welcome. Wow, very, very classy. This time, Nicholas Moran. Six more. A flexing of the muscle from first shield, but now Moran. He's latched onto that. Good luck fetching that one. Chance man in the deep, takes it comfortably. Rashid in the wickets again for England. Trying to slug sweep that delivery. Shea Hope it didn't quite get enough salt mix. A brilliant catch. Slow delivery again, but too full. And Powell has been sold at against pace in this series. 72 for three. It was full, and Powell takes that one on and connects. Yeah, it's just about backing yourself. When does he over pitch? That sounded wonderful and went for the biggest six of the day so far. Buran hits one on the other side now. Another short delivery from Atkinson. And he's been punished him for that length. He yeah, has suspected. He does take him on a little bit too full from Liam Livingston. And Powell just continues to pummel the bowling. Goes again. Disappears again even further this time. Ruffman Powell is on fire. In there should be taken just Butler wants it. Wicket. So Sam Curran, a redemption of sorts, an important strike. West Indies captain has to go. And too quick. That's the one thing about Curran that we've talked about when he's in his best form. He's a short man, but he has a very nippy, sharp bouncer. What a shot that is. Really good. He, the way he opened the hips to get that placement. That is a shot of beauty from Nicholas Moore. Hey, 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 hey. He has protection there, but he's bisected them beautifully. That is quick hands. So delicately placed by Turan. And he will get to his 50. 11 T20 International half century for Nicholas Puran, the southpaw. Mid off was up in the circle. Just too easy for Sherpin Rutherford on his return to international cricket. 
He won't mind though, is heading with the win. Devastating start to the over. Pace off. The poor man has found enough precision. Wow! Six more, maybe the best of the day. This is Puran at his best. Predictably is straight, but Puran is too good. Some way, somehow he's able to get it even into the win for six. Rashid is in shock. 50 partnership on. This is a chance. Just able to get it for six. Nicholas Puran, dominance at the National Cricket Stadium. This time taken, Ayil Rashid, as always, fights back. What's been so outstanding about West Indies batting and Puran again today for the first time is that they've consistently hit and consistently cleared the boundaries. This, the exception. Rutherford, forceful, six. Somebody say six. Pace off again. And taken this time. England have been able to fight back Shogun Fortitude at various times in this innings. Same principle from wide of off stump. If the batsman is dragging it, he's got to really make sure he gets hold of Six of them. Andre Russell full of muscle. 204 for six. That is Mamas. Really well hit by Jason Holder, straight, using the long levers. Two fielders down there, but none of them can stop it. The ball striking from the West Indies has been impeccable today. This will be more. It is six more. 16 maximums for the West Indies in front of this home crowd. The second time in the series they've hit more sixes than fours. Two, two, two for six, the highest score at this venue. Well, that's straight. And that has gone beautifully for six. So Butler into his stride. He's allowed to do so by the fact that ball just dropped a little bit too short. And that's going over the top of long off and carrying yet again. Well, two of the shots that one would associate with Josh Butler at his best. A little short of a length, that's gone over the top. Goes for four. Just the length and a tiny bit of width. That's all that Phil Salts needs. Oh, that's mighty. That is climbing into the skies and coming down again with snow on it. 25 without loss. Oh, that's going to be four. Just escaping the sprawl that is Andre Russell. As mid on, but it's over mid on. It's a flat shot. One bounce for four. Ah, oh, good shot. That is one way to deal with a packed offside field. Make sure you get underneath it. And greeted with a superb shot from Phil Saul. Great innovation. Truly inspirational from England's captain, Joss Butler. Wow. 
because of shots like these. Very, very impressive from Salt and Butler. Four more. Bola is not happy for some reason. I don't know if he wanted Hussein to move faster to his right. That will be his third T20 international half century and he's been putting in some big ones and puffing hard. He's on his haunches again, but very well played so far in the heat. The 100 comes up for England in very, very quick time, not even halfway through the innings. It's a shot. He is so good at playing, Joss Butler. Sometimes the ramp to the fuller delivery, just so much control. Short ball has worked at times. Think, I think Aki Hussein has done well enough. Joss Butler just got to that 21st 50, but the West Indies may have got him. Azari Joseph, yeah, he knows he's going over. He sees Azari close by. Yeah, very, very well done. That is teamwork at its best. Burana celebrating. Bongs from Moti. Back to back wickets for the West Indies. Yeah, two rapid deliveries to start the over. And what a comeback this has been from Gunagesh Moti. First over went for 18 runs. Now he's too strong, he's way too strong leg side. Holder misses his length. Enormous, very straight, a very strong area for Liam Livingston. It's a difficult end to bowl from. But that will help. Phil Salt. Wind or no wind in mid-wicket. That's gone. Went for the Yorker Joseph and missed it by some distance. And Livingston says thank you. Missed his length that time and has ended the over as it begun with a six book ending. Either end, salt again. One, seven, two for two. Well enough, so Phil Salt has caught a second, a third or fourth wind at the moment and he's on 93. That will help as well. Back to back sixes for Phil Salt. Right in the slot. That is a magnificent hundred, a brutal hundred. A first in T20 internationals for Philip Salt. One of five English batters now. No, he hasn't hit it. He hasn't hit it. That's gone. Safe hands of Rodman Powell, who puts himself into the hot spots. And again, just losing that shape just a little bit. If you don't get it out the middle of the bat, and you don't get the carry. What a shot from Harry Brook to end the over. 31 needed, 192 for three. Magnificent, got the length. And this is what one of your top three batting deep into the innings and how important it is from my perspective. Four runs. Went for the leg stuff, Yorker. And Harry Brook good enough to get it away for four. That is a top class shot. It really is magnificent. This has been the most stupendous 
shots in four deliveries for Harry Brook. Oh, and number six! Harry Brook, you master! Five deliveries and he's got 23! That is victory! That is a remarkable run chase from Brook and Salt and England! The highest successful run chase for England against the West Indies. Highest in the Caribbean. And Harry Brook has played the most impressive seven deliveries of his young career. But it is Phil Salt, one of your top three, who bat through the innings that has given England a victory here by seven wickets. And they keep the series alive.